All right, welcome to North Star Angling down here in the basement. Uh, it's a little warm and slushy today, so I'm not going to be fishing. I'm going to be doing a little experiment. I've uh, upgraded my Gins pack here with a Norsk uh, lithium ion battery, which is pretty slick, I think. But uh, hey, we're going to give it the main test because when you get a lithium ion battery, what's well, the first thing you want to know is how long is it going to run the thing? So I have a Helix 5, it's not the Helix 5 ice, but I don't know if that'll matter in the battery time. A Helix 5, uh, I'm going to try to turn this thing on here at high noon, and hey, let's see how long it goes. Let's check this thing out. Also, be sure to subscribe down below, North Star Angling, work in the metro here, bass, pike, walleyes, catfish, all the fun stuff, and sometimes we're just playing with equipment, like today. Alright, let's see what happens here. Alright, so here's my little setup here goes great in the back of the box I did have to the little brackets I did have to cut them back just an inch or two to make room for it it's got a handy little screen that'll tell you here oh, you can't read it it's at 99 percent I don't think that shows up well on the camera but it tells you the percentage and it's even you got little uh, USB plugs here so you can charge your stuff up so it seems like a pretty sweet deal but of course what we want to know how long will it fire this thing up? All right, one little note when you're putting the battery in, the Gens box is a little bit taller than a regular battery. Just a fraction of an inch or so, and I had to take a hacksaw of these things just a little bit to make it fit to, you know, three minutes. No big deal. All right, it is 11.59, close enough. Let's fire this thing up here. It's going to wonder why there's no water. All right. So there it is. Now, one thing I don't understand right off the bat, it says here, I don't know if you can read it, battery power 80%. When the battery power on the battery says 99%. But, I don't know. Let's find a screen to leave it on. Here, there we go. It's the brightest screen. It's just white because, of course, the <laughs> transducer is just right here. All right. I'm just going to leave it on 10. Uh, I'm not going to turn the glow light on. And uh, as we sit here, it is now straight up noon. Let's see how long she goes. We'll just check in throughout the day here. Almost been an hour here. Tw almost one o'clock. I'm getting ready to eat, so I'm gonna do this a couple of minutes early. But uh, let's see here what the percentage is on the. Um, let's see. This says 76. Guys, so hard to read on the camera. There we go. It's so fluctuating here between 76 and 80 percent. Let's see. And back on the camera says this will show up or not. It says 98%. Nope, 93, 93%. All right, so we're an hour in. And it just depends if we believe the front or back of the unit, huh? All right, let me put this back on the bright screen and we'll let it sit. All right. Coming back downstairs here to check out the. Uh, the helix how we're doing time it's almost two i'm going to be gone by the top of the hour because i have to go do some uh, run some errands so we want to check this out before we leave here see where we're sitting i guess i could turn the screen brightness down but i'm trying to do this at full at full blast so as you can see there probably 73 percent says the helix Let's see what the battery says Battery says, come on, read it. Battery says 90. Oh, battery says 89. Battery says 88. Hmm. Now, see, I'm already curious. Because everything I've, you know, when I watch stuff online about these things, 
they always said that they don't degrade. It's supposed to just be at 100% for a long time and then crash at the end, as was, you know, my understanding on these lithium uh, batteries here. So, I don't know. Already interesting. Already interesting for me. And the fact, I don't, I'm confused why it's 73% on one and 88% in the back. So, I don't know who to believe, so we'll just uh, watch her as she goes here. I'm going to put this back on the super bright screen. I have to go run some errands, so we'll be back in a few hours and check on it. All right, 5 o'clock, straight up. I've been out running errands. Uh, went to Menards, grocery store, got food, uh, Thai food and stuff. So we're heading back to the house. It's been five hours since we uh, fired up the depth finder, and we'll be curious to uh, see how it's going there. All right, we're back. What are we looking at here? 20 after 5. Well, let's see what the death finder says. Again, sorry the screen is so blown out. I'm just doing it on 10. All right, we're at 60% up front. 60%. And Mr. Battery says... Mr. Battery says... 70% if it would ever come into focus. <laughs> oh, nope. 68. Means I was doing pretty well five hours in. I love that it gives you a little reading. That's pretty slick, though. Alright. Five hours in. See, now it's kind of catching up here. 68%. 60. It's not such a range of difference as before. So, back to the white screen. And back to letting it run. Alright, we're back at him to check again here. See what the... Uh, here it's reading 46-50%. Kind of goes back and forth. We're eight hours in, by the way. It's almost straight up eight o'clock. Let's see. Oh, stupid watch. Yeah, but uh, trust me, it's eight o'clock. Uh, let's check out the back here. See, uh, see what Mr. Battery says. If I could get to show up on the screen, it says 52, trust me. There it is. 52. So, well, 50%, 46%, give or take. And uh, like I guess say 8 o'clock. There we go, right on the nose. So it's been running for eight hours, so. so hey, so far so good, huh? Back to the screen. All right, almost 10 o'clock. Still rolling here, 10 hours in. What are we looking at? 38%. Yeah, and um, flipping on around here. Looking at 41, 40%. I can do the thing here. Yep, 40. All right, 10 hours in. I don't know, I was a little nervous, but uh, she's rolling along pretty good here. Awesome. All right, well, I brought it upstairs. So I don't have to keep going down to the basement. But it is after midnight, quarter after midnight. This thing is 12 hours in. The screen is still on full blast. Um, let's see what the thing says here. Getting down there. Fluctuates a lot, but 23-ish percent. And, of course, the check in the back here. I really like, I really like the setup with this. This is going to be great, I think. Will it read? It's a 32. There it comes. I, uh, you know, the Gens box has the little transducer holder here, but I took that out so we can get access to the, you know, to the battery there, which is cool. But, uh, you know, I put my transducer up here, and it's actually a beer cozy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 12 hours in. This is great. Very impressed so far. Alright man, 
it's 2 a.m. and this thing won't die. <laughs> it's at 14%. Still kicking. All right, we're 14 hours into this thing. So, uh, holy cow, huh? Sweet. All right, 2 a.m. So we get the thing to go. And it's hard to read it. But uh, trust me, 2 a.m., 14 hours in. It's getting 26, 20, goes between 26 and 14 percent. Let's see what it says in the back. It says 29 percent. I don't know if I can get it to show up on the camera. Come on. Sometimes it's hard to shh. Yeah, I get that to work, but yeah, 29%. And it's still kicking. I added a little reflector <clears throat> today. If, was that Menards? And I just grabbed it for the box, but um, yeah, so this is in the red, but it still says 30% in back. This thing's been going on 10 on full power for 14 hours and counting here. All right, it's 3 a.m. I'm gonna have to go to bed or something here. It just won't die. 15 hours in. Look at the screen still just blasting off from the side here. Look at that. Amazing. I'm really impressed. I mean, there's been several videos even just this year where at the end of the video, I'm like, well, Flasher's dead. I guess I'm going home. I mean, I couldn't get this thing to make it through a four hour, five hour fishing trip without you know, serious concerns about the thing dying. So this is going to be a godsend. And having the, being able just to check the, the percentage right in the battery as well as being able to charge things off it. I mean, what a cool addition to the, uh, to the Gens box. Uh, having said that, you say 15 hours in, um, I'm just going to put it by the bed here. And I guess, you know, when the thing goes off, it has that low battery beep. And uh, see what it's at here. It says it's at 12%, but it's, I mean, hell, a couple hours ago it said 14%, so it's not moving much. Battery still says 28. This thing might still have a fourth of its power left. It might still be going when I wake up. Who knows? But I'm going to go to bed and I just put this thing here and see what happens. Good morning. It's still going. Zero percent. It's 7 a.m. the next day. Zero percent. Battery's at 19. Still. Still. And it's the next day. All right, here I've gone from really impressed to outright amazed. 10 a.m. the next day, 22 hours in. It's about to go here, I think. I'm at 2%. Well, trust me, I'm at 2%. <laughs> Sometimes this just won't show up on the camera. There it is. This thing won't have much left in here, but 22 hours. Amazing. All right, zero percent. Still going. I don't know if this thing's ever gonna die. Zero percent on the battery. Oops. Got zero percent on the uh, flasher. Yeah, we still have power. Just under 22 hours in. I don't know if this thing's ever gonna die. And there it went. Finally. It just barely made the 22 hour mark. Nothing in the battery. Nothing on the uh, Flasher, 22 hours, absolutely amazing. Yeah, so cool. Man, I'm amazed. Nor 
Kamarsk, lithium ion battery. I am never going back. 12 batteries, this thing is so light. Got the readouts, got the USB plugs right in. Just awesome, big thumbs up. And I tell you, I'm amazed. I started at curious and kind of went to skeptical when the percentages weren't kind of matching up. And, and again, you know, I'd always heard these things, they just kind of ride along at the peak performance and then crash at the end and started degrading. And I was like, man, I don't know. But 22 hours on full blast, uh, what I can tell you is, I'm never buying one of these again. I mean, that has to be the greatest thing you can do to your, your Gins box or your, your power pack or whatever. Oh, amazing. 22 hours. So, of course, I will leave a link in the description to the Norsk uh, battery that I'm really digging. Got that power percentage thing. And the fact it's got two USB ports. You know, so you're charging stuff right off the pack. I mean, it's just, just amazing. So how cool. Um, hey, I'm glad I checked it out because I was kind of, I was really curious. Hey, thanks for watching North Star Angling. And uh, we'll see you next time out on the ice or maybe water. Let's find out.